Indian, you say? Indian, yeah. Yeah? Kind of model O. Model O? Yes. We've been gathering parts from it. The frame actually came from Zimbabwe. The frame, and you see that it's a different way of for suspension. Spring. Yeah. It goes back and forth, yeah. So I, I went to see a guy when I was back oh, 20 years ago, and yep. he had that lying around. I brought it back as hand luggage. Nice. Yeah. So I've just been making things for the motor as we can. I just made the valve guides up. These are pulsar valves, they're so a little bit longer, I've got to cut them down. Okay. So I just popped them on there just to see what they look like. Yeah, cool. So the valve guides are new now. Um, these castings we got from a chappy there. These are similar castings here that need to be cleaned up and tidied. We made this rod up here, we made these these things, the kickstart mount, that was quite a big thing there. This kickstart mount here on this okay. rod, which holds that. So Nick welded that for me, did a nice job with TIG on that. Excellent. This thing here to hold it, so that all cranks over now. I just got nice. that because it's got, a, it's got a clip that holds it. Yeah. Some things were a little bit primitive in those days. This is original. These we remade. So they're all on. So just making things as we go. The next thing yeah. is the pumps and, and uh, I suppose we found the chap, there were quite a few people who do it, but I found a, a guy over in Bendigo who makes rooms. So he and supply spokes. So all that comes up and supply rooms and spokes. And so the castings are things you've cast yourself? No, or? no, they came from a chappy who had rebuilt one okay. over in Victoria. Yeah. And those are the castings he had left over. Is this a muffler or fuel tank? Muffler, yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. So we had the gearbox. Gearbox is all good old gears. Nice. And we're essentially just putting it together. Right now I'm, I'm trying to work out what to do with the distributor because the low tension side here has a little um, points box on here, yeah. which obviously we don't have. And then the HD comes out and goes into here mm -hmm. and comes out here. So what's sort of thrown me a little bit is, you know, it's a horizontally opposed, so you would expect the pickups to be 180 degrees. And so this is where you've marked. They're 30 degrees up. So I've got to work out how that, you know, what happens inside there. And so they're definitely 180 on the crank? Yeah, yeah, the crank. Horizontally opposed, yeah. Nice. Anyway, so these these we have made in down in Doriville. Oh, yeah. I'm very oh, pleased nice. with us. Yeah. Oh, the guys. Okay. The other ones up. I'm heading back there. Up there I'll somewhere. Be we made them. It's beautiful. So, yes, I was very pleased with the way the guards turned out. That's an oil tank, is it? Drip feed. Oil tank, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just, just. Uh, shoot, shoot. Yeah. Couple of pumps. When you're going really fast. Nice. Just. Yep. It's as you yep. would do with a 200 cc motor. That's yeah. awesome. That's beautiful. So, so I found that the magneto on internet, which is quite good. Cool. So I just put that on now just to see. So it came with the gear, so it's got the right gear. And so are the pickups threaded, so you'd expect that they would come straight into those points? Well, usually they have a, like a slip ring. Yeah. Here. Um, as you know, the British one's like a, like a pulley, and uh, the, the brush runs in the middle of it. But there must be something different here because Different. So this is running at engine speed. So that's engine speed. Yes. Cam speed. Back down to engine speed. Or back up to engine speed. Oh, okay. Yes. So this is so this is firing every every time. Yeah. And this is distributing when each cylinder needs it at, at cam speed, of course. Okay. So it just is the trigger for the timing on this side though. So basically, as long as you've got the rest of the circuit connected, the timing is actually set when it fires. Well, this will fire twice at twice the speed that this fires. Yeah. So this will fire once there, once there. So as this turns, yeah, it'll fire. So it's firing there. It'll fire front cylinder. Yeah. Fire back cylinder. Yes. And this distributor. But I'm wondering if the distributor actually needs to just be connected at the one point, or if it can actually have a wide angle of connection, well, and that the trigger is actually there. coming from a, a points inside here. So that when that fires, wherever it is, it doesn't really matter. A little bit of, yeah, that, that's right, Charles. So it could be a nice long, yeah. long um, lead, uh, brass strip or whatever it is that yeah. it rubs against, yeah. Because they usually have a carbon brush running on a brass yep. strip. And so that, you're right, that would then take away the yeah. need for it to be, like if, it, if it's feeding in, yeah, and then going to one or feeding in and going to the other, all you need to make sure is that the split the, between the one and the other that it covers that is yeah appropriately because your, your splits here to here maybe that, that's right Joe. But, but you're right you know if, if the brass strip was long enough to to keep continuity when that opens in time for that, that yeah. Would still work. yeah so if you're looking at your, your your 90 degrees or so your 
one there and one there. Yeah. So that as it's come around, that side it's connecting there, that side it's connecting there. Yeah. yeah. You know, so as long as, as, as you say, as long as there's enough coverage yeah. for, for contact there. Yeah. That's lovely. So we've got, um, we've got, you know, we've been gathering parts, there's bits and pieces that, that um, we've collected over the years. And got, a, got a tank that doesn't fit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it just doesn't go in. Yeah, so okay. we're going to have to remake that or, or remake all that. And that's fixed, so it's obviously not going to split or Yeah, that, no. that's not the right seat, that's just something we had sitting on there. They're very similar to this, the, yes. the seat mounts on, on here, the spring, sorry, not here and hang down. Yep. So it's that same type of arrangement, but this yeah. this is oh, it's not the right seat, so we're going to have to make a... They, they all had a frame very similar to that, so we'll bend another frame. Nice. Just got to find uh, samples. That's Some sort of idea of what it's mm, meant to be. Exactly, yeah, yeah. That's lovely. So I'm hoping to get the motor pretty well together. I managed to get all these, the cam follows out. So the cam, obviously the cam goes through here. Yeah. And it's, um, the, the cam follows are, are um, lifted by rockers. Okay. So not directly on the cam, yeah. so it's quite good. So they're all let out. I got the shafts out okay. Yeah. And I got I took these out because they'd seized the, the followers had seized in the blocks. Ah, yeah. So I managed to pull the heat it all up and pull them out. Yeah. Had to make pullers and all sorts of things to do it. You know, I got them all out and uh, got yeah. it all freed up now. And um, I had to make a couple of new followers. I'm trying to use as much of the original as I could. Yeah, for sure. So that can all go back in, but not not right now, of course. Mm, mm, mm. That's lovely. Yeah, so that's. What are you doing? Yeah, double back Um well, As you as you probably know, Nick and I bought them. Nick was going to take one, and I went with them. Yep. And then Nick um, changed his mind, and uh, the other one went to another friend of mine. Okay. And I kept this one. So I took this back section off, and it's, I think the, the lackey things is. Oh, I see. Uh, I think when I put those, um, what's it on it? It's just going to go forward a little bit more clear there. And get it down. Oh, sorry? These are from Kilmartin, are they? Oh, did you all the black is Kilmartin, yeah. Oh, okay. So I popped that one in, you'll see. Yeah. I've, I've popped these with the. the it's quite, so it goes around here quite nicely. Yeah, yeah. Had to do a little bit of tweaking, but nothing yeah. significant. So they're punched now, ready for plug welding. Yes. That's ready for plug welding. And this, and then on these ones, um, they didn't. That that piece there goes inside the firewall. On the early BN4s, they didn't have that. But right. speaking to Greg, he suggested I should because I get a bit of firewall shake. So Just that'll help to sort of lock them in a bit better. Yes, yeah, give it a bit more support. That's right, because they do, they do, in the back here, it's all more film art and stuff. So, oh, wow. to, uh, to try and get this shroud into shape, but I think I'm going to bring this out a little bit. Just pull this back a little bit here. I've got a clamp here with the ice cream at the moment. Just pull that out a little bit so that it goes in a little bit better there. Yep. And then these, these, these also, fit reasonably well, you know? So yeah, yeah, that's not bad at all. Yeah, so... Everything, so that's a good thing about having a fairly original car to start with. So I had I had to support because when Dave brought this over, I don't know if you remember, cut the end of it, cut those and he folded these in. Yeah, okay, so we fit the container, yeah, yeah. So I had to, I made a support and I sent it for sandblasting. So I just had to clean those up and I'm just get a bit of paint on them. And of course, it was on the rotisserie, you were for sandblasting, so it was, didn't do those. I just made a cheap copy of Nick's. Nick made a real fancy one with the thing to raise and lower it and that, but I did okay. the same thing with the, the disc. That's, that's really good because you can stop it anywhere. Yeah. It's really so that's like a handbrake, handbrake, handbrake lock, is it? No, that's just a bolt. Huh? I think it's, <laughs> I think it's sophisticated. That's just a bolt and I've got a spanner here. That oh, I mean. Just drilled and tapped a hole there and it holds it properly. So that, and then these these things, of course, for the width and that. So it's it's sort of adjustable, but not not like next where you can. But I don't want to be too heavy because first place I had to take it sandblasting. Second place here is. Yeah. So the only thing is with that you can't. Drop again, is it? 
Yeah. Is it going to come back, is it? No, it's, it'll, it'll tip, probably. Oh, okay, I'll have to get something to hold it must be the way to put boots on it, yeah. Oh, 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 ye
in mine I had to replace that I replaced the you can buy these from come out and of course quite easily on this yeah. front piece and then I put a new piece in here mm. in mine but it's because there's no water, it hasn't rusted. That's right, yeah. yeah. So the rust on this one was only where, where water had collected. Yeah. The, the, the bad one was here. You can see, see why it happened. You know, there's the windscreen comes up here. Yeah. And this hinge plate here has got this recessed section for the door strap. Uh, yeah. Of course, all the water builds up in there and it rusted up. This was all rusted out here. So it must have got a bit of dirt. Down that, yep. uh, down here, and blocked it up, and blocked this, and then I don't know if there's much opportunity to drain very well there either, because no. so this had rusted, so I've put new ones on. Well, I, haven't, cool. I haven't fixed them yet; they're just in place. In place, yeah. They, don't, they probably don't need to be fixed either, because a very strong support behind there, mm. and of course the doors and this the hinge plate bite. holds it on. Yes. So they, they they were spot welded, but so mm. right, right, that's, so. until we moved to Balcata. We moved to Balcata two years ago. Up until then, it's always been under cover, so it's never been a problem. We had space in the factory. Um, and we just recently moved them outside, um, which I don't want to do. I don't want to leave them out. 